Authorities promising to crack down after several street takeovers in Compton, but are they making a difference? Tonight, KCAL News reporter Leslie Marin is live at a city meeting in Compton with reaction. Leslie. Well, Susie, I can tell you that the sheriff's department has definitely stepped up enforcement. They say they responded to several of these street takeovers over the weekend and that they also issued several citations. Now, residents tell me it is a difference from just a week ago, but they could still hear those street takeovers. Out of nowhere, you know, that they start, you know, when they get, get in dark. Maria Villarreal has witnessed plenty of street takeovers in Compton. What is really, really, really we need to take action on as the street takeovers. As president of the Latino Chamber of Commerce and longtime resident, Villarreal expected to see action this weekend following the sheriff's department announcement that they would be upping patrols and cracking down on sideshows like these. It's not quiet yet like we wanted to be, but uh, you know, it's, it was uh, not quite as like the weekend before. Villarreal says she could hear the cars doing donuts from her home, but the department confirmed they worked with CHP to crack down on several street takeovers on Saturday and Sunday and cited several people. Este fin de semana estuvo tranquilo, no hubo problemas. This weekend was quiet, said business owner Digna Samaniego. Her restaurant El Pollo Dorado was one of six police say was broken into the weekend before when takeovers led to mass looting in Compton. Está dando sus rounds más seguido. She says police are patrolling on Long Beach and Rosecrans more frequently now, but fears the takeovers and break-ins will continue. Disturb me because I can feel and see the pain of the businesses when they break into the business and take one quiet weekend isn't worth celebrating for Via Real. Instead, today she canvassed 75 Compton businesses. Her message if Compton residents want to see real change, they need to start coming together and speaking out. We have this issue. We have homeless. We focus on cleaning Compton. Then somebody else is coming and take over our city. So enough is enough. As for city officials, they plan to add more deterrence to the roadway known as bots dots. I did reach out to the mayor to see what she thought about how the weekend enforcement went. She was not available for an interview tonight. Reporting live from Compton, Leslie Marine, KCAL News.